Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. I have a five minute mini session that I'm doing for a client. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals here and then we'll see where spirit takes us, okay? All right, my goal is to connect with my guide and know I am connecting with her and know how I am connecting with her. I feel like I ask, I release fear, I try to have no expectation, but I still feel like I'm just grasping at an idea. I try to follow the advice that my guide is likely the imaginary friends you had as a child. Except in that case, I feel like mine was masculine. I really feel like I'm on the tip of an iceberg and once I can unlock this kind of energetic exchange, things will really open up. Any help is much appreciated. Okay, give me just a moment here. I'm going to collect myself. You're coming from so many directions and I love it. Okay, I'm going to relax and let's see what happens here. All right, I am, it's like I'm walking down a hallway, but it's like uh, made out of glass. It's really smooth. You could even say maybe black onyx because I can, it's like, it's a black space. There's something sheen to it, like it reflects the light. It's like smooth like glass. There's uh, something soft and kind of feather-like, but huge puffed out feathers. And I'm moving through it and it's, <laughs> it's a lot in the way, actually. But it's it feels like silk, it feels soft like feathers. And it's not really hindering me that much. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to walk through a wall here. I'm walking through feathers. I'm walking through silk curtains. But it's, it's just kind of a lot, you know? Ah. So we're gonna, I'm gonna have you stop walking. Literally just stop for a minute. Do you feel like finding your spirit guide is like uh, hunting for a lost object in your house? <laughs> that you can't find, like, where did I set my keys? You know, it's almost like this walk is like, you're, you're walking towards, you're walking towards your spirit guide. But when I experience this, it's, I'm going to stop you because your spirit guide is right there already. It's, it's like standing right behind you kind of thing. You're really, I mean, you're really close to this guide, super close. And, okay. Hmm. So I'm just going to start by stopping you. When I stop you, it gets confusing. And you wonder if you got lost again on this pathway to finding your spirit guide, on this pathway of discovering your spirit guide. And I say, why is it that I stop you and now you suddenly think you did something wrong? What if you're doing everything right? Do you feel like you must be doing something wrong? Since you haven't gotten that to that point yet? Hmm. Okay, this is getting interesting. So, I'm still working on helping you to see this guy that's right behind you, but for me, I see the nothingness, okay? But I get to feel it. I get to sense it. I can tell. But above you, there's this sort of like shimmery, silvery looking speckles. And we're working with darkness, which isn't um, scary at all. It's actually kind of, um, it feels really healthy. It feels really balanced. It feels very peaceful. It's like a nighttime walk around the lake kind of thing. Um, it doesn't feel haunted. It doesn't feel scary. There's no anxiety. There's no fears. There's just a longing. There's just a, I want to keep moving. I want to find my guide. I want to connect with my guide. Um, so this is what it looks like. And I'm kind of um, looking above you now at these silver shiny specks. And I'm supposed to do this in order to tell you or help you with the next thing in relation to your goals. Okay. 
Boy, this is interesting. Again, stopping you is extremely energetically healthy. It's almost like you're catching up with yourself again. Isn't that weird when you stop? Suddenly, it's like you're catching up with yourself. And there's something about these sparkles here. I haven't figured it out just yet, but I feel like I'm going to be doing some energy work here around the head. Again, this guide is just right there. I'm going to continue to just look at your third eye, just look above your head. And there's literally nothing necessarily blocking you from this experience, except an understanding of the experience itself, which is why you have so many questions. And it is cool because you're not, you don't have walls up. It's not like you're trying to hear your spirit guides, but you, you keep them at a 50, like a 50,000 foot radius. You know, some people do that. It's like, you want them to be close. You want them to, to be right next to you. But why can't you see them? Why can't you grasp it yet? So there's something I'm, I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out the silver sparkle stuff, but I feel like there's something here that I'm supposed to just clear out for you. And I really want to take a look at this guide. It's like a mystery to me too. I have to just do the next thing. So I'm going to do the next thing. Ah. I just send information through your eyes and your third eye and what I see and what it means to me and how it makes me feel and I show you inside your mind how close your guide is to you that you can actually touch your guide I mean it's like hugging you right now that close that close that you are in a hug a, a everlasting hug that close and that is literally what it's like right now and I'm I'm sharing that with you I'm allowing you to absorb that here boy you're interesting because there's an inquisitive nature to you and that's that that is creating a, a special well-rounded ability to to become um, more of that experience than the average Joe who just wants to go from a point A to point B. Um, now I'm working with my guide. Now is, you're like, I, I want to understand this. I want to know about that. What does this feel like? How does it, you know? So it's kind of like um, you're creating more of a well-rounded experience because you're asking the questions and you're trying to process and understand them um, in a very energetic level. Okay, so this he so it's a this he is actually just asking you to just slow down and just I'm here. I'm I'm here. In I mean his nature is so sweet, so relaxed, so slow. I'm filling in some blanks here because he's he's showing me how you're walking and looking and this is in this way kind of blocking your view and when really nothing is he's always hugging you <laughs> so it's like um having a an upgrade an energetic upgrade of your psychic awareness of how the guide interaction is actually taking place because it could be felt by you and everybody has different psychic gifts so some people are real seers or real listeners or some of us are real feelers if you were to close your eyes and don't worry about seeing anything you could feel a very kind man hugging you very 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 kind very gentle not all guides are like this. Some guides are funny. Some guides are scholarly. Some guides are magical, mystical. Some guides are tricksters. Some guides are really intense to 
really shake and rattle your your situation to teach you how to face fears. This guide is like a warm blanket at all times. It is so kind. It it's keeps showing me an image of a man that it's like um, a grandpa type energy with his granddaughter and her cute little hand and they're holding hands and he's kind of bent down um, and they're going on a little walk together and she's telling him about all this exciting stuff and she's like three or four years old and he's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he loves it he's just like so it, like into this <laughs> he's really really into this he's not even pretending to be having a good time he's having the best time of his life <laughs> like this it could life couldn't get better than this that's what he's like he's his he loves you so much like uh, just wants to do you to feel that he hugs you Mm. he's with you every step of the way <laughs> like a grandpa with the little girl on the walk every step of the way holding your hand enjoying every moment <laughs> so that's what I have to share with you that's so wonderful and so sweet mm. I'm just taking a look at those silver sparkles is that a distraction? Sometimes we get distracted by things we think are important when really we just need to feel that importance has already wrapped itself around us. Hmm. I'm just going to put some light here into your third eye and mind just to brighten things up for you. And then share a little light here with your heart too to brighten your heart and to tell you that you're doing a really great job. Take some time to get creative and feel the connection. Pretend in your mind that you're walking, a little girl walking on a sidewalk with a grandpa, holding your hand, smiling at you, a twinkle in his eye. How does that make you feel? That is your spirit guide's message. That is your spirit guide speaking to you right there and the way that connection feels with this specific guide, okay? All right, can't share anymore. That was so wonderful and fun. Thank you. Um, thank you for sharing as well. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in connecting with me one-on-one -on -one for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. I wish you all a wonderful day.